It is the 18th of the 10th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Let's go and get started on ENA News. Alert! Top Japan nuclear official suggests Fukushima reactors, quote, leaking directly into the sea. Now mixing with groundwater and getting diluted. Expert contamination flowing from plant will be carried away to North America's west coast. That's just the way the currents go. And they've been flowing and flowing and flowing for over two and a half years now. You wonder why all the things are going wrong in Canada and in the North and uh, Washington State area. Nuclear report warns of apocalyptic scenario at Fukushima in the weeks ahead. Ambassador, this could be this could one day be considered the start of the ultimate cat catastrophe of the world and planet. Tepco, quote, it's under control. <laughs> we all know better. Biolog biologist finds pink salmon that are canary yellow on Canada's Pacific coast. Insides also yellow. Heart parts, gill arches, spines, cartilage and head, spleen swollen, liver spotted, some with bugged out eyes. And with the starfish and the otters and the whales and the dolphins and everything else that's screaming to us something is wrong on the west coast of the United States and Canada. Something's wrong. Typhoon appears to have affected Fukushima Daiichi plant. No kidding. Giant spike in radioactivity after suspected of causing high levels of strontium to flow into the Pacific. And you got to remember they dumped all this water untested, right? Untested. The stories continue. You wonder why there's a huge spike. Japan journalist plutonium escaped Fukushima reactors as gas. We've all reported this. It was a colossal 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit inside as it was melting down. Can't be detected with a Geiger counter. Terrible things are looming for the children. They must be evacuated, yet nothing is done in Japan. This is a criminal nation. I am worried. I am. And they are. And this is. It's a time bomb and the clock's still ticking. Ex Fukushima worker, I'm scared to collapse a plant. Quote, buildings are in a very bad state. You got to remember this, the reports coming where the water table's rising up to the surface. And uh, it's a big bog that is Fukushima once they put all these barriers up and whatnot. And they can't even hold the water back then. They built this nuclear plant on top of a riverbed. They covered up a riverbed and put a nuclear plant on top of it. And they wonder why they can't keep the water under control. Plutonium detected, quote, all around the mountain in a town 20 kilometers from Fukushima plant. Quote, everyone knows that. We use the water that comes from these mountains. And these people don't have any other choice. Where are you going to move to? The entire northern hemisphere is plutonium. And it's leaking down in the south. The insanity continues. Daily News, Fukushima Diary. New typhoon was born in the south of Japan again. May hit Japan again. Yet another typhoon's lining up to go up and down the uh, Japan coast. Just what we need, right? Diesel generator to pump up groundwater stopped. Notch tank overflowed. More water spillage at Fukushima. TEPCO not to disclose radiation level of seawater near drain outlet after the typhoon. They couldn't collect a sample. Having measured the high radiation in the drain, TEPCO doesn't disclose the radiation level of the seawater near the outlet of the drain, which is located outside the plant port. So much for the Prime Minister's theory about it's all staying inside the port. Nothing's leaking outside the port, is it, Prime Minister? 2,300,000 becquerels per m third of a nuclei detected and drained connected to the Pacific after typhoon. Highest reading ever. This is the same drain that they're not testing outside the seawater. <laughs> I wonder why. 
Uh, TEPCO evacuated contaminated water to the leakable reservoir by fire engine using fire trucks to pump the water from one place to another during the typhoon storm and releasing it anyway. You wonder why all the radiation spikes after this typhoon. We knew they were going to dump the water. Did they go a little overboard? Finally tonight a little bit of good news. Uh, this is off of World Nuclear News, a uh, very pro-nuclear shill site. The removal of fuel from an undamaged reactor of unit number 6 of the Fukushima Daiichi plant began today after workers completed operations to remove the reactor's pressure, pressure lid and major components. Plant operator, not owner, GE, TEPCO began work on 17 September to remove the concrete hatch to the reactor compartment. The reactor's containment vessel lid was removed three days later, following on 5 October by the reactor pressure valve lid. Since then, the steam dryer and moisture separator have been removed to allow access to the fuel. Work, will, work to remove the fuel will, from within the reactor started today. All the fuel from the reactor is expected to have been transferred to the site's shared used fuel pool by the end of November. Now that's that big supersized tank they got up against number four, or not too very far from it, uh, the, spent, uh, the shared fuel pool. So they're starting to do something positive anyway. They're getting the fuel out of the reactors number six and number five. These are the easy ones, okay? Supposedly undamaged, but we've had reports up and down that there are crazy things happening with those as well. We're doing what we can here. We really are. And we want to keep you informed and up to date on what's going on all the time. Um, if I missed anything, please do let me know. Attach a comment or send me a personal message. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I am.